Welcome to this tutorial on simulating a shell into heat exchanger in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we will learn to simulate a shell into heat exchanger, calculate the outlet stream temperatures, calculate overall heat transfer coefficient, calculate heat exchange area, calculate thermal efficiency and LMTD. To record this tutorial, I am using DWSIM 4.3 and Windows 7. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in other OS also, such as Linux, Mac OS X, or Fossey OS on ERM. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to add components to a flow sheet, select thermodynamic packages, and add material stream and specify their properties. The prerequisite tutorials are mentioned on our website. You can access these tutorials and all the associated files from this site. Here, we will develop a flow sheet to determine outlet stream temperatures, overall heat transfer coefficient, and heat exchange area. Here we give compounds and inlet stream conditions. Here we give heat exchanger properties and property package. Here we give shell and tube heat exchanger properties. I have already opened DWSIM on my machine. Go to File menu and select New Steady State Simulation. Simulation Configuration Wizard window appears. At the bottom, click on Next. Now, in the Compound Search tab, Type Methanol. Select Methanol from ChemSep database. Similarly, add water. At the bottom, click on Next. Now comes Property Packages. From the available property packages, double click on Routes Law. Then click on Next button. We are moved to a new window named Flash Algorithm. From default Flash Algorithm, select Nested Loops VLE. Click on Next button. Next option is System of Units. Under System of Units, select C5. At the bottom, click on Finish button. Let us maximize the simulation window for better visibility. Now, let's insert two material streams that enter the heat exchanger. On the right hand side of the main simulation window, go to flow sheet objects. In the filter list tab, type material stream. From the displayed list, drag and drop a material stream to the flow sheet. Click on MSTR 000 to view its properties. Let's change the name of this stream to water in. Now we'll specify the water in stream properties. Go to input data. Select flash spec as temperature and pressure if not already selected. By default, temperature and pressure are already selected as flash spec. Change temperature to 10 degree centigrade and press enter. Change pressure to 1 bar and press enter. Change mass flow to 15,000 kg per hour and press enter. Now, let us specify the feed stream compositions. Under composition, choose the basis as mole fractions if not already selected. By default, mole fractions is selected as basis. Now, for methanol, enter the amount as 0 and press enter. Similarly, for water, enter it as 1 and press enter. On the right, click on this green tick to accept changes. Now, Drag and drop another material stream to the flow sheet. 
click on material stream mstr001 to view its properties. Let's change the name of this stream to methanol in. Now, we'll specify the methanol in stream properties. Go to input data. Select flash spec as temperature and pressure. By default, temperature and pressure are again already selected as flash spec. Change temperature to 80 degree centigrade and press enter. Change pressure to 5 bar and press enter. Change mass flow to 25,000 kg per hour and press enter. Now let us specify the methanol in stream compositions. Under composition, Choose the basis as mole fractions if not already selected. By default, mole fractions is selected as basis. Now, for methanol, enter the amount as 1 and press enter. Similarly, for water, enter it as 0 and press enter. On the right, click on this green tick. To accept changes. Now let's insert two more material streams that exit the heat exchanger. To do that, let us drag one material stream. Let us now arrange it. Leave that stream as unspecified. We will change the name of this stream to water out. Next, we will insert another material stream. Let us once again arrange it. Leave that stream as unspecified and name this stream as methanol out. Now, let us insert a heat exchanger into the flow sheet. Go to flow sheet objects. In the filter list tab, type heat exchanger. Click on the heat exchanger displayed. Drag and drop it to the flow sheet. Let us now arrange it as required for better visibility. Let's click on it. On the left, we can see a tab called Property Editor window. Under Connections, click on the drop-down against Inlet Stream 1 and select Methanol in. Next, click on the drop-down against Outlet Stream 1 and select Methanol out. Then click on the drop down against Inlet Stream 2 and select Water in. Then click on the drop down against Outlet Stream 2 and select Water out. Now go to the next section Calculation Parameters. Here the first option is Calculation type. Click on the drop down against calculation type. Select shell and tubes exchanger ratings. Next, click on the drop down against flow direction. Select counter current. Then, click on the field against cold fluid pressure drop and enter 0.002 bar. Then, press enter. Click on the field against hot fluid pressure drop and enter it as 0.025 bar. Then press enter. Now we will enter the properties of shell and tube exchanger. Click on edit shell and tube heat exchanger properties. Shell and tube exchanger properties window opens. Here we can see the by default values for Shell and tube site configurations. First, we will edit the shell site configuration. Click on the field against shell in series and enter it as 1. Click on the field against shell passes and enter it as 2. Click on the field against internal diameter and enter it as 1000. Click on the field 
against fouling factor and enter it as 0 0.00035. Click on the field against baffle spacing and enter it as 250. Click on the field against baffle cut and enter it as 25. This completes the shell site configuration. Now, we will edit the tube site configuration. Click on the field against internal diameter and enter it as 15. Click on the field against external diameter and enter it as 20. Click on the field against length and enter it as 5. Click on the field against fouling factor and enter it as 0 0.00035. Click on the field against roughness and enter it as 0 0.05. Click on the field against thermal conductivity and enter it as 60. Click on the field against passes per shell and enter it as 4. Click on the field against tubes per shell and enter it as 1024. Click on the field against tube spacing and enter it as 25. Click on the drop down against tube layout and select square. Select the option cold against fluid in tubes. Now all the shell and tube exchanger properties are specified. Close the shell and tube exchanger properties window by clicking red cross mark on the top right of the window. Now we will run the simulation. So from the toolbar click on solve flow sheet button. When the calculations are completed click on heat exchanger in the flow sheet. From the property editor window of heat exchanger locate calculation parameters section. Check cold fluid outlet temperature. It is 66.15 degree centigrade. Check hot fluid outlet temperature. It is 40.95 degree centigrade. Check overall heat transfer coefficient. It is 191.83 watt per meter square Kelvin. Check heat exchange area. It is 319.12 meter square. From the property editor window of heat exchanger, locate Results section. Under Results section, check Thermal Efficiency. It is 79.05%. Check Log Mean Temperature Difference. It is 21.25 degree centigrade. Now, we will check the streamwise temperature results and material balance. Go to insert menu and select master property table. Double click on the master property table to edit it. Configure master property table window opens. Enter name as heat exchanger streamwise results. Enter object type as material stream. By default, material stream is already selected. So, we will not change it. Under properties to display, select object as water in, methanol in, water out and methanol out. Under property, scroll down to see all the parameters. Now, Select the properties as Temperature, Pressure, Mass Flow, Molar Flow, Molar Fraction Mixture, Methanol, Molar Fraction Mixture, Water. Close this window. Move the master property table for better visibility. Here, we can see the corresponding results for inlet and outlet streams. Now, 
we will check the properties of heat exchanger. Go to insert menu and select master property table. Double click on the master property table. Configure master property table window opens. Enter name as heat exchanger results. Enter object type as heat exchanger. Under properties to display, select object as HE004. Under property, scroll down to see all the parameters. Now, select the properties as global heat transfer coefficient, heat exchange area, heat load, cold fluid outlet temperature, hot fluid outlet temperature, logarithmic mean temperature difference, LMTD, and thermal efficiency. Close this window. Move the master property table for better visibility. Here, we can see the corresponding results for heat exchanger. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to simulate a shell into heat exchanger. Calculate the outlet stream temperatures. Calculate overall heat transfer coefficient. Calculate heat exchange area. Calculate thermal efficiency and LMTD. As an assignment, repeat this simulation with different compounds, fit conditions, and thermodynamics. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conduct workshops and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. The FOSI team coordinates conversion of existing flow sheets into DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team helps migrate commercial simulator lab to DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSI projects are funded by NMACT, MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Kaushik Dutta and Priyam Nayak. Thanks for joining.